सो हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल्स टुडे अगेन आई एम बैक विथ अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन मैसिंग डिजाइन्स एंड दिस न्यूमेरिकल इज बेसिकली फ्रॉम द डिजाइन ऑफ ट्रांसफार्मर्स एंड दिस न्यूमेरिकल वाज एक्सड इन 2012 एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल्स एंड हाईली एक्सड न्यूमेरिकल्स इन मैसिंग डिजाइन सब्जेक्ट एंड हियर यू कैन सी अ न्यूमेरिकल ऑन द स्क्रीन और 25 केवी और 25 केवी ट्रांसफार्मर इज गिवन हियर 11 किलो वोल्ट मीन्स एलेवन थाउजेंड और स्लैश फोर थ्री थ्री वोल्ट फिफ्टी हॉर्स एंड थ्री फेज डेल्टा स्टार को टाइप ट्रांसफार्मर इज गिवन इयर को टाइप ट्रांसफार्मर हैज अ फुल लोड कॉपर लॉस कॉपर लॉस सेवन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वाट एंड ओवरऑल को डायमेंशन एंड द मैग्नेटाइजिंग एंड द स्पेसिफिक कोर लॉस करेक्टर सिक्स इज गिवन एज ए इन द टेबल बिलो एंड हेयर फॉर टेबल वन हेयर गिवन सिमिलरली फॉर टेबल टू फॉर लिम एंड फॉर योक हेयर वी हैव गिवन and here in this questions we have to determine the no load current efficiency at full load and identify whether it is distributions or power transformers so here let's see the solutions here so here the voltage power phase and high voltage side on high voltage side this since the uh, it is a delta connections here you can see in the numericals and this since this is delta star and the high voltage side is 11000 so the voltage power phase and high voltage side directly will be 11000 and now here bm is given as for lim bm is given as 1 over per meter square so here you can see bm given as here 1 over per meter square so this is for lim so here corresponding to this flux density it is atc is given as 120 ampere per ampere per meters and pi is given as 1.2 watt per kg and this is taken from the table and here this is taken from this table so we in the, with respect to bm is cost here 1 so its a respective iron loss is given as 1.2 and mmf means ampere per meter is given as here 120 so these data are taken from the table 2 So it will be ATC is cost 120 ampere per meter and PI is cost 1.2 watt per kg. And similarly for flux density BM equal to yoke. For yoke we have 0.833 watt per wave per meter square given in the tables. And corresponding to this flux density ATY is ATY will be 83.25 using interpolation technique and PI is cost 0.916 watt per kg using interpolation technique. And here the exact value of ATY and PI is not given in the question. So here we have used the interpolation technique. And here simply you can use the interpolation technique. As here we have up here we have the value value as zero point eight three three. So here you can see. I'll show you how to solve this with the help of calculators. So here here we need to determine the value of zero point eight three three. So first press here mode and in or uh, and then press three. Now. Press option two, and now we need to calculate the value between zero point eight and zero point nine, which is zero point eight three three. So substitute the value. So first zero point eight and zero point nine. So here type zero point eight. Again press equals to again zero point nine. Again press equals to and and here we can see the loss watt per kg is zero point eight five with respect to zero point eight. So here, zero point eight five. Again, press equals to. And with respect to here, zero point nine, the value is here one point zero five. So one point zero five. And then press equals to. And then press this AC button. Now press shift and press one here. Now go to option five. Now press five here. Now again press five. Now keep this blinking option to the left side. So press this button. Now we need to we need to calculate value of zero point eight three three. So with respect to flux density zero point eight three three, we need to calculate value. So type here zero point eight three three, and now press equals to. So we get here zero point nine one six. So here you can see. So here PI is given as 0.916. Similarly, for ATC you can use the interpolation technique with the help of calculators and simply 
get the value with the help of calculator sir. now here total magnetizing mm required for phase is 380c into lca plus 280y into ly plus mm required for the joint and now here 380c to lc this is for core and for limb for so 380c here we have 3 into in place of it is we have 120 and lc is 0.3 uh, given in the questions here we can see height is given as 0 0.3 for limb and for yoke the length is 0 0.624 meter given so in place of else we have 0 0.3 similarly for 2 into 80y in where 80y we have 83.25 so 2 into 83.25 into ly we have 0 0.64 and mm required for the joint is not given in the question so we will assume it as a 0 so on here we have this value is a 0 so on solving we will get 2 on 1.896 ampere now total magnetizing mmf required power phase so at node will be 380c into lc plus 280y L, into ly plus mmf required for the joint upon 3 and we have obtained already obtained this value here this value we have already obtained so we have obtained 2 on 1.896 and just we need to divide by 3 so we will get the value of at node as 70.632 now in order to calculate the magnetizing current power phase i am here we have the formula at node upon root 2 into tps since there is no effect of joint so here lg and a lg and lg is not considered here so directly we will use the formula i m is equals to at node upon root 2 into tps so in place of at node we have 70.632 so 70.632 upon root 2 into tps and here we have the tps value is not given in the equation so we need to vary uh, you need to calculate the value of tps so in order to calculate the tps here we will follow this step we have it is cost eps upon tps and eps is 11000 upon tps and we know et is uh, it is represented as k into q so 11000 upon tps and tps is cost 11000 upon b and in place of k we have used the value of 0 0.45 and q is 25 kb so we have used here 25 here you can see the value of q is given as 25 kb given in the question this value so here we have value 25 25 kb and this is not here directly use 25 so tps will be 4889 now im will be will substitute the value of here 80 not upon root into tps we have written value of tps we will get the value of im so finally we will get the value of im as 0 0.010215 ampere and here the weight of 3 limb will be 3 into ac into lc into rho so 3 into ac we have 0 0.01035 into lc we have 0 0.3 and the density is 7.8 into 10 by 3 and since the density is not given so we will assume that the value of density is 7.8 into 10 by 3 kg per meter cube so we will get here 72.657 kg Similarly, the weight of 2 yoke will be Ay2 into Ay into Ly into rho and 2 into Ay is given as 0 0.01216. So we have obtained the value. Similarly, Ly is given as 0 0.624 and we will use the value of density, this same value, 7.8 into 10 power 3. So we will get here 118.37 kg. Now, total loss, total iron loss will be loss in limb plus loss in yoke. So loss in limb is calculated as Wc into Pi core plus Wy into Pi yoke. So WC we have obtained the value of WC here, similarly WY here and PI core and PI yoke is also given in the equations here. You can see here PI core and PI yoke. So for yoke we have PI value as this and for limb here PI is given as 1.2 here. So we have used this value. So, on substituting, uh, substituting all the values, we will get the value of total iron loss PI as 195.6184 and uh, loss current I will be PI upon 3 BP. So, 195.6184 upon 3 into BP is 11,000. So, 5.93 into 10 to the minus 3 ampere will be the loss current here. Now, I know it will be root and I m square plus I L square and also we have obtained the value of I m and just now we have obtained the value of I L also. So, just substitute these values also. 
कौन सा सिटी एंड सब्सिट्यूशन वैल्यू ऑफ आई एम एंड आई एल विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई नॉट मींस नो लोड करेंगे जीरो पांच जीरो वन वन एट एमपीएर नाउ टोटल लॉस विल बी द सम ऑफ पीसी प्लस पीआई एंड आल्सो वी हैव ऑप्टेन द वैल्यू ऑफ पीसी एंड पीआई हेर यू कैन सी पीआई इज दिस एंड पीसी इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन एस सेवेन so you will get 915.615.6184 watt now if you see here in order to calculate the efficiency of our kv into cost by upon kv into cost by plus total loss in kilowatt so kv is 25 kv so 25 into 0.9 upon 25 into 0.9 plus and total loss and here the total loss is 9. Point, uh, uh, sorry 915.6184 watt since this is in watt since and we need the value in kilowatt here so just divide by 1000 here so you will get here 0.9608 if you and on multiplying with 100 will get 96.08 percent efficiency and now here we have to verify the type of transformer since the kv is 25 kva and this is less than 200 kva so if if the if the given kva is less than 200 kva then we have to assume this as a distribution transformer sir and if if it was greater than 200 kva then we, we could have assumed it as a power transformer sir so this was all for today Hope you enjoyed the lectures. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.